Uh, so the world was set a buzz over the weekend as it looked like Nicki Minaj was taking hella shots. She, I mean, who the internet never forgets. And I love, I, I love Nicki. She's the queen. She, she's the greatest female rapper ever. Ever, 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 ever. I'm not a Bob, but I damn near could be. Nikki's the greatest female rapper ever. Not only that, she's just one of the greatest rappers ever. She can go in the booth with anybody. With anybody. And she can hold her own. That's why I love Nikki. She do that. Her pen game is immaculate. You know what I'm saying? But apparently, back in the day, Shakari Richardson threw shade at Nicki Minaj about her barbershop performance. Uh, and as everybody knows, the Shakari Richardson situation, she smoked the weed, as Stephen A would say. And at the Olympics, smoking the weed is a no-no. But hit the Next Up Network, we stay on the weed. Trust me. So, uh... We had a record-breaking weekend as Jamaica dominated at the Olympics when it came to track. That that 100 meter, they took first place, they took second place, and they took third place. And the thing that had the internet going to buzz is Shakai Richardson never ran the time faster than First place, second place, or third place. So, as I was explaining to uh, my younger brother one day, sometimes perception is way better than reality when you put things into context. So, I'm not a track and field guy, but I do watch a lot of uh, Speak for Yourself. Shout out to uh, Marcellus Wiley and uh, Emmanuel Acho. I think. Hands down, they're the best duo talking sports on TV. That's why I appreciate watching their show. And one thing I also appreciate about their show is their love for track and field. I'm not a track and field guy. I won't pretend to be one. But boy, oh boy, was they talking about these women down in Jamaica for a long time. For a long time. And Emmanuel Archer made the point that the perception of Shakar is going to be greater of her not going and actually losing, then her going to lose because the girl uh, who won first place, uh, what is it, Elaine? She had already had a record and ran faster times than Shakari. And I think, uh, so what can you do in that situation where you have these ladies, one, two, and three, Already before they even go to competition, running faster times than you. That's already a, you know, bad position to be in because that's already looking like at least fourth place. No shade to Shakar. Love you, my sister. But again, perception is much better than reality. Because if you're the one to the Olympics, you can have as much tattoos, your hair you want the way you want it, your nails the way you want it. It's not going to make you run faster compared to these women. And, again, they did amazing. First, second, and third. So, I'm going to read from here from this story. I really got to reposition this light. The way that the light is, is really pushing into the, uh, it's pushing itself onto the stream. Just uh, out there reflects off my glasses. So, it makes it a little difficult reading from right here. But, I'm going to get the job done for y'all. So, it says, Dance hall veteran Beanie Man and rapper Nicki Minaj were among many who praised the Jamaican women sprinters who swept the 100 meter race at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games in, uh, in Japan on Saturday. Beanie Man and Minaj also seemingly shaded American sprinter Shakari Richardson, who was disqualified in late June after she failed a drug test for a banned, for a banned substance. Found in marijuana. Uh, so Friday, Richardson took the liberty to tweet out, y'all missing me yet? She really asked, are we missing her yet? Whoo, 
boy, would that that would would that tweet age really, really horribly for her in under twenty four hours? Like the tide would change. So when she tweeted that, there were already a bunch of mixed responses according to uh complex. I saw some myself. There were some people like, yes, girl, yes, queen, we wish you were out there. Then there were other people like, no, you smoke weed, you should miss the Olympics because nobody in the world, nobody else in the Olympics in the world can do that and participate. So, yeah, it was already a lot of mixed reactions going on there. But here, uh, but then the race went on. And Elaine Thompson Hare broke an Olympic record that stood for 33 years. So she didn't just go and win. She went and she broke a record. So that congrats to that to that young lady. That's amazing right there. Uh she set a new Jamaican record of 10.61 seconds to win the gold. Super fast. Um uh, Followed by Shelly Ann Frazier Price, who ran 10.74 seconds, and Sherika Jackson, who ran uh, 10.76. Beanie Man, who's currently touring in the UK, took to Twitter after the win and said, How, f- how we five miss you? I guess he's trying to say, How we supposed to miss you? And Jamaica's running it up. He's right about that. He, he's 100% right about that. Um. Uh, Nikki also responded to that saying, big up on herself. I guess she's saying she only bigging up herself and not anybody else. Uh, yeah, Nikki started. You know, she got a little petty. She said, Queen Tangs, you bitches can't relate, and that's okay. The internet will not let you forget anything. If you say anything bad about somebody, one day they're going to be in position to use and weaponize that against you. So remember, things from the internet don't disappear. And Nikki is, you know, a little bit Queen Petty. That's why she married her husband, Mr. Petty. Kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nikki, again, she's a goat. She is a goat. She's accomplished things. She she solidified her position. She solidified herself. So, uh, of course, you know, there's going to be people mad that Nikki was being, you know, a little, little childish, a little petty. But you can't throw stones when you live in a glass house. And when you're public persona, you never know when it's your day. People have to recognize and realize that you never know when it's your day. 